Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you. This is for the Taurus sign. Please universe, what can I get for the Taurus sign? Who is coming towards me reading for Taurus friends? Who's coming towards me reading for Taurus friends? What is the love opportunity, love connection, love reconnection, love messages? Who is that person connecting, reconnecting for Taurus? All right, let's start the reading. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Taurus, please. Who's coming towards me? Reading for Taurus sign. Okay. So this is for you, Taurus. This is a, um, there's three readings, all right, as usual, three readings. Um, so let's start with this reading. So this love opportunity, love connection, love incoming connection and reconnection. Uh, I felt like this is someone that turned you down, all right? This is someone ignored you, turned you down, or some of you rejected you because it's an ace of cups, ace, on, ace of cups in upright position. This is an overflowing of love, but it was down. It was thrown out. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm really feeling like this is a person that throw out the feelings. I'm really picking up this is a person in the past where they didn't choose you. They didn't choose the love, your love together. Um, it could be um, a choice between you and another person or a choice between you and a career something between you and a choice or if it's not the case it simply is a person that rejected you or it's a feeling of the, whenever you think of this person you rejected me you turned me down you did not value the love and feelings that we share together all right so they're coming towards you giving giving you some sort of a energetic news um it's it's really is funny because i'm i'm seeing a person connecting towards you they're very um passionate energetic lively you as if nothing happens like this is a person that's gonna say hi you know they're, they're going to have this um high message to you with exclamation point and it's like it's it's like an exciting news they didn't realize that they have rejected you in the past that you know you've got history that probably was a bit was not good that they were acting like nothing happened like it, it's a feeling of um hi someone says hi to you and that's your ex and that that you know when you see that face that is the ex that cheated on you and they say hi to you as if you're very good pal or best friend so this is what i'm vibing in here <laughs> so like they're so they're feeling close all right they're feeling close they're sending a message of super excitement I felt like that's just, um, you know, the cover. Like, they're just covering up with something. Um, because eventually, if you give them a chance to connect, to reconnect, or to talk, they have some sort of um, page of swords, further details to explain to you, all right? Um, they appear, because this person is guilty, but they don't want to be obvious about their the guilt that they feel, so they would appear... They would come towards you as, you know, you know, they don't want to look bad. So they would appear to you and message you like as if nothing happens. If you allow them to talk, to connect, to reconnect, then that's where they kind of insert in the, in the scene, in the conversation, the explanation of how and why they rejected you or, or how and why they ghosted you. Um... Yeah, there's a two, um, I'm really picking up this connection, reconnection. There's two purpose as why they say hi to you or, you know, even I'm really seeing like you, you bump into them in the street, in a cafe, somewhere you see them. It's, it's not, it's not a coincidence. They, they were really there to see you. And um, it's a bit of a two, two face kind of. Um, persona like you're say hi hello blah 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 very energetic they sound like they they move on but actually there's still something with them they carry still a guilt about something in the past and they will express that guilt 
that honesty you know, they'd have to reveal something honest with you on on this connection reconnection okay could be aries leo sag uh, cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius all right now this three cards this love romantic opportunity for you this incoming message connection reconnection is again someone in your past um yeah you broke up yeah this is for some of you this is marriage all right this is this is someone you were married before all right you were married before or you were living before right this is very specific you were married before you're living in together um there was a need to really break up or to be apart and um you have to be separated um right now the the latest vibe i'm getting from this person in that is that they're ready to talk okay so i thought like once you know the, there's a message for you in here that they're ready to talk it's it's more of they realize something they have accepted that you separated and they're kind of open to talk about what's happening to, to you and to them because you've got um, you've got history, memories that you share together. And I felt like, you know, they are uh, struggling and their day-to-day -day activity is affected somehow with you guys separating or moving out. So they're open to talk about, I'm really feeling like this person, they've got friends, but they really miss a companion to talk about what's happening in their life. And their thought, their their thoughts, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're the first person that came into their mind on especially in opening up, opening up is you, all right? So they, um, they, they're open to talk to you because they can't connect with other people, all right? I'm not really seeing that they want to, you know, be back together, but it's a good sign that they miss you and they want to connect to you, you know, even for a start of us friends, all right? Um, so it's it's this reading it's it's good to be friends again like there's a there's a sign in here that they're open to talk it's it's a friendship could start off and then you've got Capricorn in here so the next card you've got Capricorn maybe uh no maybe sorry you may you might be dealing with a Capricorn um you've got page of swords and then you've got um the ace of pentacles so this is a person someone again from your past where your relationship it was toxic the relationship was not real for some of you it could be a third party um for some of you it could be an on and off kind of relationship for some of you this could be virtual could be long distance something something where you felt like it's not real you know like the the connection the feelings is there but it felt so real it feels so empty it could be you know you were so i'm really feeling like long distance because the devil card is reversed so there's no physical intimacy something of like that there was like you've declared to each other that we're a couple but you've never really been together physically that much you've never spent so much time together so it feels so unreal um they're thinking about you and they really want to offer you something practical. So if this per person connect, reconnect with you, they their circumstances, situation has changed. So they can now offer you a practical connection, a practical new beginning for you to you, only delivered to you. For some of you, I'm really picking up to make amends. They would start off with a gift. All right, so for some of you, that was that's too specific. So this is your Who's Coming Towards Me reading for you guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for watching. If you guys like the reading today, please don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click subscribe. And if you would like to join my team, yeah, please subscribe. Uh, don't forget to click the, click. <laughs> click the notification bell. And if you want to further connect with me, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, um, you can you can check all details that you need to know. It's down in the description box. So again, it's been a pleasure doing this to you. And I'll see you soon again. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.